This is the best time ever to buy sneakers. I'm not kidding. You can find pretty much any sneaker style that you want right now for under retail. I mean, we've had dips in the sneaker market before, but I've literally never seen it like this. And in my opinion, this is the best time ever to pick up the sneakers that you want. And so in today's video, I'm counting down 10 of the best under retail sneaker deals that you can find right now. And hey, if you want to grab any of these sneakers, I've made sure to leave affiliate links to all of them through the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. So there's only 10 pairs of sneakers on this list, but even though I'm only really mentioning 10, not including the honorable mentions, there's actually hundreds of sneakers available for under retail and around retail right now on all the different resale sites, even at your local sneaker stores, there's a bunch of sneakers on sale. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to highlight 10 deals, which are not only great, but actually incredible. So that'll be the top 10 list. But before we get into that, I do want to go over some honorable mentions, shoes which are still great sneakers, still great deals, but might not be going for under retail or maybe are going for right around retail, but are still worth pointing out. And the first is this, the Nike SB Dunk Low JP Chicago, a shoe which two years ago was going for like $500. Obviously it's an SB Dunk Low, which is one of the most popular kinds of dunks. And it's also one of the most popular colorways, the Chicago colorway, which on certain pairs of Air Jordan 1s goes for hundreds of dollars. But on this pair of sneakers, it's only going for like 140 bucks in a size nine. In fact, I think I grabbed my pair for like 160 after fees. I think it was listed at like 140 or something like that. And it's funny because when I first grabbed this pair of shoes a couple years ago, I paid like $500 for it. And I ended up reselling it after that because I just didn't want to spend $500 on a pair of sneakers that I wasn't going to wear that often. But now for 140 bucks, it's kind of a no-brainer. And I mean, if you like SB Dunk Lows and you don't have this pair, this pair is pretty easy to justify because it looks amazing. But let's talk about some other honorable mentions. Shoes that are all great, but they're all pretty readily available at retail stores. And in some cases, you might be able to find them on sale, possibly. Those shoes include the Adidas Campus Double Zero, which yes, you can buy on resale sites right now for like $80, but after fees, it still comes out to hundred bucks, which is what it goes for retail. Great looking pair of shoes, incredibly comfortable. One of the more popular pairs of Adidas is this year. And if you haven't tried a pair, I definitely recommend it. Another classic Adidas on the list is the Adidas OG Sambas, a pair of sneakers which has been around forever but now in 2024 is becoming incredibly popular. Now you can buy this classic pair of indoor soccer shoes on resale sites for like 80 bucks but after fees it does come out to pretty much retail. So might as well grab it from your local Adidas or Foot Locker or maybe online on one of those websites because it'll get to you faster. Some more sneakers like that that you can find for cheaper on resale sites but after fees they come out to basically retail are the Air Force One Lows and Triple White. This is one of the most quintessential Nike sneakers of all time. Everyone's had a pair of Air Force One Lows and a lot of people buy new ones as soon as their old pair gets dirty just because they're trying to look fresh all the time and the good news is, is you can find pairs for basically retail everywhere now that being said retail has gone up quite a bit it used to be $90 and now for some reason in the last two years is up to $115 which I think is still not a terrible price but hey with that being said you can still find it for pretty much retail both on Foot Locker and also on resale sites same goes for pretty much every Nike Dunk Low you can find almost all the different colorways of recent release Nike Dunk Lows for retail or slightly under on resale sites specifically the Nike Dunk Low Panda even though it's a pair of sneakers that sneakerheads don't really seem to love because they think it's just played out, which I totally understand, it's still one of the most popular pairs of Nike Dunks and you can find it for under retail on resale sites, but after fees, you're probably gonna be paying around retail. And realistically, I was just in Foot Locker yesterday and they had it on shelves in all the different sizes, so I wouldn't worry about grabbing it online. But now let's get into the actual top 10 list, which is made up of pretty clean, hyped up sneakers that are either sold out and selling for under retail online or around retail, or are selling for way under retail online, even though they are still available in stores. Number 10, the Air Jordan 1 Low Shadow. So this shoe literally just dropped like two months ago and is one of the most popular Air Jordan 1 colorways of all time. Plus it's a low and low top Air Jordan 1 seem to be doing better than high top Air Jordan 1s right now. I don't know if it's because it's summer or because maybe people are sick of high Air Jordan 1s, but hey, whatever the case may be, it's a pair of sneakers that I don't think should be going for under retail right now. I mean, it's not even a standard Air Jordan 1 low. It's an Air Jordan 1 low OG. It's the one with the wings logo on the back. It's the one with the Nike Air tag on the tongue. It's a more limited pair of Air Jordan 1s than the pairs that you usually find in stores. And while sure you might be able to find a size here or there in certain foot lockers and retail stores, it's pretty much sold out almost everywhere. But for some reason, this shoe is going for under retail online. I found it on StockX in my size for $107. After fees, it comes out to like $135, which is still $5 under retail. And I mean, even if you're buying the shoe from Nike, you're going to be paying shipping and taxes. So it's actually cheaper to buy it for resale than it is to buy it brand new from a regular store. I feel like I'm going to be saying this a bunch in this video because a lot of these shoes on this list a couple years ago would have been reselling for hundreds of dollars over retail, but now they're going for under retail. It just blows my mind every time I see it. It's crazy. But yeah, the Air Jordan 1 Low Shadows, great looking pair of sneakers, excellent summer shoe, definitely worth picking up, especially at that price. Number nine, the Air Jordan 9 Powder Blue. Returning for the 30th anniversary of this OG colorway, the Powder Blue Air Jordan 9s were pretty popular. I mean, they pretty much sold out in the sneakers app and they're still available at some footlockers, but not in all sizes. But what's wild is that even though this is an OG colorway of the Air Jordan 9s, and even though it's kind of sold out in a lot of places and in 
in a lot of sizes, it's still going for under retail online. This shoe retails for 210 bucks, but you can grab pairs on StockX right now for $170, which is $40 off. Sure, you do have to pay shipping and fees and things like that, but it still comes out to like $195 versus 210. And sure, fees and shipping do eat into that a little bit, but it's still like $195 versus $210 for a pair of shoes, which is sold out in a lot of different places. And I mean, again, it's an OG pair of Air Jordan 9s. We haven't gotten a pair of these in a minute, and it's so clean in hand, like the white leather upper, the really nice satin finish on the midsole, and this beautiful powder blue. I love it. I don't usually love Air Jordan 9s, but this colorway in particular is super, super clean. Also, another detail that I really like, which is pretty subtle, is that the edges of the leather come in blue to match the midsole of the sneaker. You don't really see them unless you're looking at the shoe head on, but Man, they look good. The powder blue nines were a pair that for me were a must have. Number eight, the Air Jordan 11 Gratitudes. This is a pair of 11s that actually released last holiday season and promptly sold out, which makes sense because this shoe is heavily inspired by the DMP 11s, one of the most sought after 11s of all time. Plus it comes in the Concord colorway, which a lot of people love. So it's crazy to me that this shoe is going for under retail on resale sites right now. So the Gratitude 11s retailed for $230, which sure is a lot, especially when it doesn't come with a special box. But usually Air Jordan 11s that release during the holiday season sell out and then resell for $50 to $100 over retail. So it doesn't matter if they're releasing for $230 or even $250, usually they resell for like $300. However, in the case of the Gratitude 11s or the DMP 11s, whatever you want to call them, this shoe you can find on resale sites right now for like $190, which is $40 under retail. And yes, again, fees and shipping do eat into that, but still, it's a sold out pair of sneakers that you can grab for retail online. And even though this shoe isn't technically an OG colorway like the Powder Blue Nines that we just talked about, it is almost an OG colorway. It's the Concord 11s, except instead of having ballistic nylon on the upper, you have a more premium material, tumbled leather. You've also got gold accents. You've got a gold 23 on the heel and a gold Jumpman, which again, are not OG color accents on this shoe, but they are true to the DMP 11s. Yes, the outsole of the sneaker comes in sort of a milky yellow instead of a blue, but I mean, let's be real. The blue outsole on the Air Jordan 11 Concords turns yellow very quickly. And I feel like this creamy outsole actually accents the gold hits on the shoe better than the icy outsole would. So I don't know. I'm really surprised that this shoe is going for under retail. It's such a clean look. And I guess I get it if you're a purist and you only want the Concord 11s, but I mean, shoot, for 200 or I guess $190, you can grab a shoe that looks almost exactly the same and it's slightly better quality. Why not? I actually grabbed three of these shoes, one in my size, one in my wife's size, and one in my daughter's size, all for under retail. I think I grabbed all three of those pairs for less than 400 bucks, maybe even like 350, maybe even less than that actually. Which back when the Concord 11s last release, you could only buy one pair of Concords for that price. And in 2024, I could grab my whole family a set of 11s for the same price as one pair of 11s a couple years ago. It's crazy and it's awesome. I love it. Number seven, the Air Jordan 6 Reverse Oreo. So unlike the other Jordans that we just talked about, this is not an OG colorway of the Air Jordan 6. So you might be saying to yourself, well, if it's not an OG colorway, why is it higher than those shoes on the list? Because usually OG colorways do better than non-OG colorways. Well, the reason this shoe is number seven on the list is because this shoe literally just dropped like last week or maybe the week before for $200 and now on resale sites you can grab pairs of these for $133. I mean seriously, $133. That doesn't even make sense. I understand that these Jordan 6s might not have the nostalgia factor as some of the other Air Jordan 6 colorways like the standard Oreo 6 colorway or the Carmines or anything like that, but this shoe still looks amazing. It's an almost all white Air Jordan 6 with black accents on the tongue. You've got splatter print on the midsole which really makes the sneaker pop. I love it. And you round off the look with an ice blue outsole. I love this pair of sneakers and I don't usually love Air Jordan 6s, but this colorway is so clean. In fact, I grabbed this shoe for full retail when it first came out because I really like this sneaker and this colorway a lot. I didn't do a review on it or anything like that. I bought it because I really like the sneaker. It's shoes like this that kind of blow my mind. Like, why is this sneaker going for so little right after it releases? I just don't get it. I mean, I guess Jordans just aren't hitting the way that they used to and it's really all about Adidas and Asics and that's why there's not really any Adidas or Asics on this list because they all go for pretty much retail at this point. But still, a shoe like this should be timeless. I mean, the Air Jordan 6 is a shoe that Michael Jordan wore to win his first championship. It's a classic sneaker with a ton of history. And in a colorway as clean as this, for $133, $67 off of retail, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Seriously, if you wanna check these shoes out, they might be one of the best deals on the entire list. There's links at the top of the screen. I recommend it. If you like Air Jordan 6s, I highly recommend this shoe. Number six, the Air Jordan 3 Fear. Man, this is another one of those shoes that I just don't get. So this shoe, when it first released as part of the Fear Pack a decade ago, was reselling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And for some reason, when this shoe, one of the most popular Air Jordan 3 colorways of all time, re-released in 2023, it sat. And it's wild to me because even if you don't have any nostalgia for the Fear 3s, it's still a very clean, wearable colorway of the Air Jordan 3s, one of the best sneakers out there. In fact, the Air Jordan 3 is probably my favorite 
Air Jordan after the Air Jordan 1. The shoe retailed for $200, which sure does seem a little high for a pair of Air Jordan 3s, but that's really just what they're going for now. But nowadays, nowadays, I say it like it released like seven years ago, it released like six months ago. Currently, you can find pairs of these on the resale market for $130, $70 off of retail. I don't know, if you were around for the Fear 3s when they last released, let me know in the comment section down below if this blows your mind that this shoe is going for this cheap under retail. And also, if you grabbed a pair. This is another shoe that I literally bought for my entire family for under $300. And again, when this shoe last released, you could maybe buy one pair of these, maybe. Probably not even that. I mean, the upper of the shoe comes in this really nice tumbled new buck. You've got orange accents on the lace side You've got an orange Jumpman on the tongue and on the heel. And then you've got this really cool midsole gradient that fades from a black to a light gray with splatter print on the back part of the shoe. It's just such a cool looking sneaker. Even if it wasn't one of the most hyped up pairs of Air Jordan 3s of the last decade, the fact that this shoe is still going for this cheap is crazy. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen with the sneaker market, but my guess is because it's cyclical, this shoe will probably go up in value sometime in the future. I mean, the Black Cat 4s you could buy for retail basically a couple years ago, and now they're going for a thousand dollars. The Chicago ones, same deal. Well, at least the low top variant of the shoe. You could buy that shoe, I think at outlets for under retail, and then for a while there it was going for like twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. It's crazy. But this is one of those shoes that I just don't get why people aren't snapping these up because the Air Jordan 3 is still a pretty popular silhouette right now. It's not as popular as the Air Jordan 4s, but it's like three times as popular as the Air Jordan 1. So I don't know. I don't understand it. Number five, Adidas Yeezys. This is not something I really ever saw coming. Not only are Adidas Yeezys available for sale for retail, but in a lot of cases at the Adidas outlet, you can grab pairs for $100. In fact, all of these pairs I literally just picked up at the Adidas outlet in my last video. You can check it out, the link at the top of the screen, for $100 each. And it's not just these. It's not just the 700 MNVNs. It's not just the 450s. It's not just the shoes that you find at the Adidas outlets, it's a lot of different pairs of Yeezys. We're talking 350s, we're talking foam runners, slides. Sure, there are still some colorways that fetch over retail, but in a lot of cases, for a lot of those 350 colorways that you've forgotten about, you can grab them for retail or below. And I mean, shoot, if you like the 350 V2 Comforts, or you like the 380s, or the 450s, or the 700 MNVNs, you can find them at your outlet right now for $100. Obviously, this is happening because Kanye West is no longer partnered with Adidas, and they produced hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pairs of Yeezys that were never able to be sold, because their partnership disbanded and uh, it looks like and now they're stuck with tons of stock that really has no hype that they're trying to get rid of very quickly and the way they're doing that is selling these shoes for half price and sure while these shoes don't really have any hype anymore they're still decent sneakers I mean the 450s are still a wild looking pretty comfortable pair of shoes the 350 v2 compacts are still very comfortable 700 mnvns are still weird <laughs> still a weird sneaker but I mean I like them and the 350 v2s while you probably can't ever buy them at the adidas outlet they haven't had them there at least yet you can still buy them on the adidas confirmed app and on resale sites for under retail. It's wild because that was one of those shoes that everyone just wanted a pair of back in the day. We're paying thousands of dollars for and now you can get them for under 200 bucks. And I'm really interested to see what happens to all of these shoes 10 years down the line once all of the pairs are sold and they don't make any anymore. Like are these pairs going to skyrocket in value? Who knows? I kind of doubt it because there's millions of pairs out there but still I mean, they're going to become more valuable than they are right now. And also for the pairs that actually dropped at outlets, they're reselling for $80. Like each one of these pairs you can grab online for 80 bucks. Sure, it's probably closer to $100 once you pay fees and shipping. So it's basically as if you walked into the outlet and bought them, but still $80 for Yeezys, that does not compute in my head. I mean, honestly, if you've been waiting to buy a pair of Yeezys, now is the time to do it because right now, there's tons of pairs in the market. No one really wants them. And in a couple years, the value might go up. So I'd say buy them now while they're under retail on resale sites like StockX. Get them for as cheap as you possibly can and wear them and enjoy them. Or if you love making bad financial decisions, buy them and sit on them. It's up to you. <laughs> Number four, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. This is one of my favorite sneaker releases of the year and is also one of the most popular sneaker releases of the year. This shoe is completely sold out, but yet somehow it's going for under retail on resale sites. Now to be fair, because of the fees and because of the shipping, you are probably gonna be paying around retail, but still, if you want a pair of Military Blue 4s, you can grab them for retail. I mean, seriously, as of right now, this shoe is gonna be in my top 10 list of the best sneakers that released all year. And you can grab it right now for retail. And I've obviously worn my pair a bunch and I might grab a second pair because I can, because they're so cheap. This shoe is an OG colorway of the Air Jordan 4s. It comes in this beautiful white leather upper with blue accents. You can check out my full review on the sneaker through the link at the top of the screen. But truly one of the most popular releases of the year. Yes, there's a lot of pairs out there, but you can't really go wrong with it. The shoe launched for a retail price of $215 and you can buy it right now for around $200 on resale sites. Obviously that's dependent on size. Certain sizes will probably be going for over retail, like larger sizes, size 13, which actually I did find a size 13 at the outlet two days ago. So, I mean, they are still available around. 
But yeah, incredible pair of sneakers, one that I definitely recommend picking up. And actually, Apothecary, my sock brand, released a pair of socks that matched perfectly with this pair of shoes, which you guys can check out through the link at the top of the screen. We've actually started releasing sneaker-specific themed socks, which are pretty cool. And of course, you can grab standard colors and other collections. There's a lot of stuff available on our website, linked in the top of the description below. So make sure to check them out. Again, linked right there. Number three, the Air Jordan 11 Low Space Jam. So this is the first time that we've had the Space Jam colorway on a pair of Air Jordan 11 Lows, at least a true pair of Air Jordan 11 Lows, and it dropped perfectly in time for summer. And what's wild is that this shoe sold out pretty much everywhere. Maybe you can find a size here or there, like your local Foot Locker, or maybe at the Nike outlet, but it's actually pretty hard to find it in store. But for some reason, this $190 shoe is now available on resale sites for like 165 bucks, which means you're basically getting this sold out pair of Air Jordan 11s for like 180 bucks when all is said and done, $10 under retail. And I guess I could understand why a pair of Air Jordan 11 mids that's not technically an OG colorway might be going for under retail after it's sold out. But a pair like this that is an OG colorway in a low top form that's perfect perfect for summer. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I actually did have a pair of these before they released. I bought it for resale like a month or two before they dropped and then resold it so I could at least recoup some of my losses. But this is a pair that I've regretted selling since. And yes, I would have lost even more money if I had kept it. I might go back and rebuy it for $165 because I feel like that's a great price for this shoe. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a pair of Air Jordan 11 Lows, especially not in black ballistic nylon and black patent leather with an icy blue outsole. They just look amazing. It's one of the most popular Jordan 11 colorways on an incredibly wearable silhouette. I don't know, man. It's worth picking up. If you like the 11s, I'd say grab this one more than any other pair of 11s on this list or any other pair of 11s that have dropped recently. Number two, the Air Jordan 1 High. There is no other shoe on the list that has dropped in price as much as the Air Jordan 1. And I'm talking about like all the Air Jordan 1 High colorways. There are countless examples of recent release Air Jordan 1 Highs that I can guarantee you would have gone for three to $500 two years ago and now we're going for well under retail. One of the most extreme examples is the Air Jordan 1 High Satin. When this shoe first released back in 2016, granted in very limited quantity, Quantities, it was reselling for $3,500. Now with the second wider release of this shoe, one of the most popular colorways of all time, is reselling for $80. I bought my pair at the outlet for $82. Sure, it's not the standard leather version, but at one point, this satin version was the most sought after pair of red ones ever. This shoe dropped almost a year ago, and you can still find pairs at the outlet for under $100. I don't get it. I mean, the bread ones are just the best shoe ever, at least in my opinion. I love this shoe. Maybe not the satin version as much as the leather, but still, another example of absolute insanity is the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined, a shoe which is an OG colorway of the Air Jordan 1s, but yes, comes in suede instead of leather. This shoe dropped for $180 and was incredibly hyped up before its release, and now you can buy pairs for basically 90 bucks. This is another pair that I bought for my entire family, my wife, myself, and my daughter, and I spent under probably $200 on this shoe, which is crazy. I mean, I get that the suede is not the material that everyone wanted on the Royal ones, but still, it's an incredibly wearable colorway, and it still looks good. Some other notable examples are the Artisanal ones, which I picked up from the outlet recently for like $130, usually $180. The mauve ones, which I just bought for $119 at the outlet, you can grab them online for like $80. It does not make sense. And most recently, we had the Air Jordan 1 High 85s in metallic burgundy. I actually just grabbed this pair at the outlet for 40% off. It's a $200 shoe regularly, and I grabbed it for $120. And you can probably grab this for even less online. And it's wild because the Air Jordan 1 85s are a shoe that was pretty coveted just a year ago. This is a newer, more premium version of the Air Jordan 1s. It's designed to be just like the original 1985 pair. The materials are nicer, the leather is thicker, and the cut is just like the original. And literally every colorway that dropped of the 1985 Jordan 1s were going for probably $200 over retail up until maybe the black and white colorway that dropped last year, I think, and that was going for maybe $50 over retail. And now you've got the latest release, the metallic burgundy colorway, which is going for well under retail. It's mind blowing to me. And these are not the only colorways of Air Jordan 1s that you can grab for under retail. You can grab the Amamanier ones for under retail. They dropped, what, two or three years ago. You can grab the Green Glow Air Jordan 1s that just released for like $90 online, even though they're a $180 shoe. You can grab pretty much every single Air Jordan 1 high that dropped in the last three years for under retail unless it's like a super hyped up release. I mean, even the Spider-Mans you can grab for under retail. It's absolutely wild, and if you're a fan of Air Jordan 1s like me, now is the time to buy, because there are so many pairs that you can grab for hundreds of dollars less than you ever could have, and you can build out a full Air Jordan 1 collection for like $500 to $1,000, and I'm talking like five to 10 pairs of Air Jordan 1s. It's nuts. Seriously, if there's a pair of Air Jordan 1s that you've been planning to get and you just haven't pulled the trigger yet, or if you've never tried a pair of Air Jordan 1s and you wanna try one out for yourself, now's the time to do it. I've linked all of the shoes that I've just mentioned and more Air Jordan 1s through the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. Seriously, I recommend checking them out. They're awesome and they're cheap. And in 2020, I can guarantee you that every single one of these pairs that I have in my hands right now would be going for two to $300 over retail. Seriously, this is the best time I've ever had in sneakers. 
Granted, I'm spending a lot of money, but I'm getting a lot of sneakers for that money. Number one, the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green. The reason this shoe is number one on the list is not because it's the best deal on the list, even though it's a great deal. And it's not because it's sold out, because you can still walk into your local Foot Locker and buy pairs of these for retail. The reason this shoe is number one on the list is because it is the most surprising addition to the list. A pair of Air Jordan 4s, the most popular pair of Jordans right now, by far, in an incredibly clean colorway, this white and green colorway, for well under retail online. So the Oxidized Green Air Jordan 4s released like last month for $210 and you can buy them on resale sites right now for like $169. Again, that is dependent on your size, but still $169 is like $41 under what it retails for. And I mean, look at this shoe. The quality of this pair is really, really nice. You've got this leather heel tab. You've got these leather wings. It's a more premium version of the Air Jordan 4s. I mean, it's even got this beautiful, like almost automotive candy paint on the midsole of the sneaker. Everything about this shoe is gorgeous. And the fact that this shoe is going for $41 under retail, doesn't make sense to me. Sure, there are sneakers that I would rather have on this list, but out of all the shoes that I've talked about, this one, you'd think, based on the way the sneaker market is going, this would be the one that at least would sell for retail. But for some reason, you can grab it for way under. And I would say, if you're gonna buy the shoe, buy it for resale and not for retail, because you're saving like 30 bucks. I mean, even after fees and shipping, this shoe maybe will cost you like 190, 195 bucks. Even then you're saving 15 to $20. I don't know. I don't know why you'd buy this shoe for retail. Why is this happening? I don't know. Shed some light in the comments down below. This shoe is awesome. And I might double up on the sneaker because it's so wearable and so clean. And for $169, why not double up? You know what I mean? It's crazy. But hey, that pretty much wraps up the list for today. If you want to check out any of the sneakers that I mentioned in today's video, they're all linked through the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you think I missed out on any sneaker deals. But as always, thank Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.